Good morning and welcome to Darwin. Visitors to Darwin sometimes ask me if we have markets uh, all year round. Uh, and I say of course we do at Parap, Nightcliff and uh, Rapid Creek. Um, they will go every weekend. Uh, the Mindle Beach Markets closes down in uh, the wet season but it will operate in the dry season so around April that will start again but you can get some fantastic food, uh, fruit and veg and uh, some su nice souvenirs uh, at these local markets. So uh, today we're going to take a look at the Parap markets um, so yeah let's, uh, let's go and take a look. All right so here we are at Parat Markets. I'm just showing you this little bit uh, to show the type of mask that I'm wearing uh, as we cross the road here uh, to walk into the markets. So the COVID restrictions at the moment are that you must wear the mask um, if you cannot socially distance. You'll notice a few people walking around without a mask um, that's fine as long as they keep their distance from everyone else. Alright, so we're just walking into the car park area of the Parat Shopping Village. Um, I'll show you what is here on another day without the markets in the middle. So there's some quite interesting uh, little shops here. There was some rain overnight, as you can see on the ground, and I think it's kept a few of the food and souvenir stalls away, but uh, it's open. Uh, everyone's lining up to get their laxa. The coffee there, excellent coffee. You can buy your beans there as well. And I might come back later and get some from there. So we'll just go for a bit of a stroll through. Now this one right in front of us is the famous Mary's Laxa. Uh, very popular. And she does all of the various combinations. There's probably about three or four different places here that um, you can buy the Laxa from. Lots of uh, fruit and veg. These tend to be from local growers out in the Humpty Doo, right down to Acacia region. Uh, of these people selling up will have their uh, blocks and uh, they will grow these. Bring them into town <laughs> on Saturday morning and also Sunday morning at Rapid Creek Markets and Nightcliff Markets. Hams, crepes, fantastic if you get a chance to enjoy them. Lots of different uh, varieties of uh, food on offer. A lot of these people are from uh, either Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, um, and, and a host of other, other places that I might have missed. Whatever you like, you can generally find here. And uh, just a word of warning, a lot of the recipes are original, so uh, if you're not used to spicy food, um, you might just want to try a little bit first. Uh, $7.95. I might come back to this stall here, um, so I need uh, some bits and pieces to make a new batch of Jammu juice. To this one, it all looks pretty good there. Yeah, quite a few stalls are missing uh, due to the rain. Get your Thai massage while you're, you're waiting for your laxa to be prepared. So 
the weather right now, we are in January, um, so it's monsoon season. Nice and cool, it's only about 30 degrees, high humidity, it's a little bit sticky but quite pleasant on the whole. I think these flowers from memory are grown down near the Berry Springs uh, Darwin River area. So a lot of them are local. This is an Indonesian stall in their traditional satays. They also have a very uh, good restaurant hey guys, good. in town, the Sari Rasa, just down one of the laneways of Kavanagh Street. You will get your authentic Indonesian food there. people you see here are pretty much the locals, uh, they know what they want, pick up their, their food or their fruit and veg, pretty much at home. Hey man, how you going? This stall here probably does the best uh, stuffed chicken in they do a pretty good one at the Rabbit Creek Park. Yeah, we fucking people Just got distracted by this uh, beautiful red Ducati that we see here. Just make sure you explore down some of the little laneways. 
not a lot right now, but they will be uh, very busy with a lot more stalls uh, coming in the dry season. It's off around April, May. And you, you tend to have trouble finding a parking spot. Morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, they're nice and colourful. a pretty cheap price there for the Ray Reeves art uh, if that's uh, $10 per print not framed I would suggest but, uh, very colourful depicting the Northern Territory and that vaccines Uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I've just come back to this uh, fruit and veg stall. Just to pick up some bits and pieces. Uh, some chilies, ginger and some wines. I've uh, got the rest to go into my uh, mixture for Jammu. Hopefully it makes awesome, it thanks very much. Uh, Thank you. Okay. You take Okay, we're just walking through this uh, area and everybody has got their favourite uh, Laxa stall but this one coming up on the left that we found to be very good uh, over the many years not as famous as the Mary's but great selection, really nice, would recommend it Alright, we'll come and have a closer look at some of these stores later. But Jackson's Art Supplies and Toppy's uh, Sandwich Bar would definitely rate a mention. Toppy's 
in my opinion, probably makes the best uh, takeaway coffee uh, that I've found. I've tried a few different ones, but I really like theirs. Jackson's for the uh, various art supplies, uh, whether you're into oils, uh, acrylics, uh, or any type of uh, pencil or crown work. They've got a pretty good selection in there. Alright, so we'll just go uh, back out and to the right. Now, strangely enough, they do not block traffic driving through this area. So you just need to be aware that there will be cars moving about. I'm not sure why they drive through. It's very difficult to get apart. So yeah, an excellent uh, variety of uh, gifts, plants, uh, food, coffee, even just to come for a bit of a stroll around. So the, most of the shops are open today. And all these stalls will be finished and gone by around uh, 3 o'clock. Uh, this afternoon so you do need to get in uh, probably before one or two o'clock if you want uh, a good selection of something to eat Hey, All right, so that's pretty much it. I'll head back to my car. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next video.